There was a moment where I thought maybe the, the water would get to the second floor and then I said, then what? We met Cabal sitting on the front steps of her Staten Island home. She says she's in shock and exhausted after one scary night caused by Ida's wrath. This is horrible, guys. Cabal watched in horror as water just kept coming in her front door. This was Arthur Kill Road around 8 o'clock Wednesday night. You can see cars getting stuck by the rising waters and firefighters trying to help. All that water going inside Cabal's home. Look at all of this. This is like, this is our basement. This is the basement. You can hear her trying to calm her two young children. This was all floating. Take a look. Cabal showed us the mess left behind and says everything here is lost. And like many, she doesn't have flood insurance. I don't even know what we're going to do, but it's... Thankfully, we're alive, but the water was coming from everywhere. Take a look at this video taken on Darlington Avenue in Princess Bay. This is Mark Starita's front driveway. It's heartbreaking. You know, I've got kids who are who in the house. They're 7 and 10. Uh, my wife, you know, we're, we don't want to be here anymore, but we feel that we're stuck. Uh, and we need help. And on Forest Hill Avenue and Richmond Hill Road, abandoned cars still line the street. Their owners left them to escape the floodwaters. So all along Forest Hills Road, you can see, look, the cars were left abandoned and pretty much destroyed. And then take a look, New York City Transit, they're moving these huge containers right now just floated across the street. I'm thinking that it's a lot of devastation and we're going to have to prepare a lot better in the future. We were all blindsided by this and uh, you know, this is something that I think uh, we as the electeds now have to make sure that we uh, coordinate the resources. 